in today's video, I have some pieces of furniture that have seen better days. So we have taken them, shown them a little bit of love by cleaning them up, fixing them up, giving them a paint job, and wait till you see how they all turned out. Hey my friends, I'm diving right into this adorable little shelf that was given to me by a friend. Ignore the paint, that was a mishap from before we got started, but this was given to me in pretty good shape. It had just, you know, it's an older piece, but it has such a pretty and dainty vibe that I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I love this little detail at the top it is just going to make a great bookshelf. So um, I did clean it down real good, wiped it down, cleaned it with um, some Simple Green, wiped it down again, and now I'm just sanding it because even though I'm going to use chalk paint, I just want to make sure that the paint has, you know, enough to grab onto. And it, you know, it has a lot of shelves and little, the hearts, you know, being an inlay or whatever, a cutout. It took a little minute to sand it all down, but I just wanted to make sure got it sanded real good and wiped everything off. Once I have everything wiped down real good, I have it on its back because I wanna tackle the hardest part first. So to me, the hardest part was gonna be the back side of the shelves and the sides of the shelves and the underneath part. So I'm using Waverly chalk paint in ballet slipper. And this is an easily accessible paint that you can get from Walmart. And so, you know, if you don't have access to some of the higher end chalk paints, this is one that you can get to pretty easily. So I'm just gonna paint this. And normally my husband's the one that paints the furniture because we usually use um, a latex paint, but chalk paint is so forgiving that I figured I could tackle this one. So I'm just getting everything, um, you know, painted, the underneath parts and the back parts especially, because those are the hardest parts. But just get everything painted with one coat of the chalk paint. Now I'm going in with a second coat and I'm using the ballet slipper again, but I wanted it to be a little bit lighter and softer. So have this ivory chalk paint in Waverly and I did add some of it to the pink and it did lighten it up a little bit. I could have probably added it more to make it even lighter, but after all was said and done, I really liked the color it turned out. So now I'm just gonna give it a good second coat. The second coat's dry, so now I'm going in and I'm gonna sand around the edges. And I think this is maybe a 120 grit sandpaper, but I figured it's it's an older style of furniture, so I didn't want it to look, you know, just store-bought. So I figured distressing was gonna be a great route to take. And this is what it looked like after I distressed everything. And the great thing about chalk paint is it, it does distress really well. Um, it's a little bit different than milk paint. Milk paint is much easier to distress and chip, but I didn't want that, so that's why I used the chalk paint. So now here's my husband, and he's going in. I decided not to use a wax because I am going to have it in my booth, so I needed it to be a little more 
um, sturdy and the paint stand up a little bit better. So he's going in with some polycrylic, painting it all with the polycrylic, and this is the finished product. I just really, really love the way it turned out. Wouldn't this look so adorable in a little girl's room? I just think this is precious and this is exactly what I had in mind for this shelf. For now, it's in my booth and if someone wants to buy it, they can, but for now, especially with spring, because I have a lot of spring stuff in my booth, it goes perfectly to hold all of my spring merchandise in my booth. So now this second piece is a piece that I actually bought from someone that came into the store one day and they were selling some just old furniture that they had. So I got this one and I just love the bones of it. I, lo I love the way this is kind of similar to the shelf and it has that little piece on the top that kind of encases the back part of the top, but it was dirty. Let me tell you, we couldn't even at first get the drawer out of the nightstand over the side table. It wouldn't even pull out. So my husband had to open it as far as he could open it and get in with a screwdriver because there were actually dirt daubers all in the drawer. And you'll see here, you can kind of see how dirty it is. And look, can you see back there? Look, there's that dirt dauber right there that was stopping the drawer from opening all the way. So he just had to go in there and get that dirt dauber's nest out. And then we got the drawer out and look at the mess that this drawer was in. I don't know where they had this thing stored, but there was even dirt dauber nests up underneath the bottom part. So yeah, it, it took a lot of work to get it cleaned up. And my husband had, I didn't want it to be perfectly filled in with all the dents and stuff because I did, you know, I liked the aged um, look of it, but there were some spots that were kind of big chunks taken out of spaces. So he did get, go in with some wood filler and get that filled in. Now, the paint that I'm using for this is a chalk paint called Gri uh, Driftwood and it's by a company called Country Chic and I will leave a Waverly link and a Country Chic link in my description box so you can check it out. But I just love the tan color of this driftwood. So my husband is going in and giving it two good coats of paint. And for this one, I did just um, seal it in with a wax and I used, I didn't have any of the Country Chic wax, so I used the Waverly wax that I have. But again, you can seal it with a polycrylic. It, you know, whatever is gonna work best for you. So anyway, once we got this painted with the two coats of Country Chic, he did do this with two coats and with the wax um, to top it all off. But once he got this done, this is, uh, it's currently listed on sale on Facebook Marketplace. And I also have it in my booth and it's on sale in my booth, but it's really pretty. And it was actually pretty easy to paint. Um, there weren't, even with the bottom part being, you know, like it is, it was still, you know, pretty easy to paint. The chalk paint makes it easy to paint. So anyway, we did change the knob on it and put this really pretty acrylic knob and this is what it looks like. So I was really happy with the way this one turned out. Y'all, I could not believe the deal that I got on this piece. I found this at Goodwill, it was $30, and it had the color sticker that made it half price. So I don't have us painting it, but this is how we refinished it. We sanded the top real good, stained it a dark walnut, and then painted the rest, and I'll put all the colors down below. But wouldn't this make a great coffee bar? As soon as I saw it, I knew that that's what I thought this would be. And this actually has already sold out of my booth. And the lady that bought it, she actually is going to use it as a coffee bar. 
This next piece I snatched up from a thrift store and I got it for $20 and it was in really good shape. It just had some scratches on top. So we filled all that in, gave it a great paint job, put a new knob on it and this sofa console or sofa table sold very quickly and for a nice profit, I might say. Okay, I got these two pieces from a garage sale and I got them at a great price, but I wanna ask your opinion. How would you paint this? These are really nice tables. They're in really good condition. The only thing we have to do is just sand them and paint them. But would you paint them like I did the coffee bar and try to stain the top um, with a dark walnut and then paint the rest in a creamy white? Or would you paint it a solid color? And if you did paint it a solid color, what would you go with? Let me know in the comments below. But I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this quick little video of some flips that we have done, some furniture flips. And if you like this sort of content, whether it is things like this, flipping furniture, my booth information, and all things homemaking, whether it's home decor, meal ideas, shopping hauls, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel click the subscribe button and click the bell button. Everybody give this video a thumbs up because it does help me out with YouTube. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out the box you see on the screen right now and I'll see you next time. Bye.